In this video, we're going to talk about the HVAC vent that needs to go in cabinet A and B. So we've got a sink based cabinet, we have a dishwasher, and then there's an HVAC vent that lands somewhere right here underneath the window. It's in the hardwood floor already. So we have the sink based cabinet, it's been installed. We have to take in account for 24 inches for our dishwasher. And then we have an HVAC boot that the builder provided, but he didn't install for some reason. And he just, I just called and asked him and he said, the boot's on the job, please put it in for me. So we're gonna remove this wooden vent and we're gonna replace it with that. First thing they're doing is finding the cabinet that goes there and we're gonna decide the best location for the vent with the engineering of the bottom of the cabinet. So this drawer box cabinet is labeled and we need to remove them all so it's easier to move around it's a little bit lighter and we really want to do at the end you know for this installation is we gotta to get that furniture toe down to the floor we gotta mark these drawers and we gotta cut in a little vent hole at the bottom of the cabinet where we're gonna put the vent so they're removing the drawers and they're storing them carefully they're storing them somewhere close by and safe where they won't get damaged during this process and they've all been marked although top and bottom you know you may have to determine which drawer and they put them in order careful order so that they can put them right back in so now Trey is going to put this on its back so that we can look at the bottom of this cabinet and determine where exactly the vent is going to be Trey's removing the cleats. Alright, so we looked at the bottom of the cabinet. Now David's going to transfer down. That's the start of the dishwasher. Lines it up. Marks 24 inches. So that's the end of the dishwasher right there. So now he's marking approximately where the vent will be. Cool thing we got. So David's got 24 inches. That's the start of the dishwasher. And he's measured over from the marks he put on the floor, 20 to 34. 34. And that, of course, lands us right in the middle of the toe kick, which won't be too difficult. We'll just have to bust these two out and cut two holes in this. And that way that boot can sit right on top of that. change the blade after that. Wow. Went a little slower that time. Yeah. Still breaks off. Gives us what we need. Trying to keep all that dust from blowing down in there. Conscientiously. Now you got a boot that's ready to blow some air. So we're gonna just take a measurement. That's drywall. We're pretending that. Alright, so we're putting this on what we would call drywall. And I would say we should have that metal at 21 inches. We certainly don't want it to be at 22 inches because that means we'd have to cut the metal. Um, so we're gonna put it at 21 inches off the drywall. So Trey's marking 21 inches from the drywall to the front of the metal. He's lining it up over that hole. So he centered it up right on that vent, dropped it down and he's exactly 21 inches off the drywall. So 
say you got that thing. These guys are going to move this cabinet into position. And they'll know it's in the right spot when it sits on top of that vent. And we're getting it roughly lined up with the marks because now David's got to scribe it to the floor. And, and in this case, we really need to set the other elevation first, but this gives us an idea on the starting point. So you can see how that vent landed. It's, you know, would have been okay if it was a little bit bigger of a cut because, you know, it landed on that metal. And, and this is not the finished toe kick, although sometimes it would be. This is gonna get a skin later.